Oh, I am so tired. This arc, here we go. Oh, we're missing a figure. There you go, here's a six shot. Everybody knows the size of this six shot, right? This Hasbro one has fallen down on me so many times because of these weak, weak knees. So there you go. Oh, I've got a couple clips. I got clips here I gotta make. I've gotta put some red stuff in there. I gotta put stuff because I put him there. This is how it is at my place. You just move something, and then you just have to move it again. There's a switch under here that'll turn your lights on for the front here. Sorry, I'm really bad at trying to film stuff with one hand. I'm not looking in the camera at all. I'm trying to look at what I'm doing to get the camera. So all those will light up around there. You have to plug it in on the inside. So they got these doors on the side that'll open for you, right? And, wow, I've got it closed with one hand. Surprising. And this one's the one that's got the actual door that they can walk into here. It's going to be a, a black and chrome thing that I insert in here. So still got that to go. This one has taken a sheet and a half more plastic and a month more over budget. So I sort of underestimated this job by about 1500 bucks. Yeah, keep the camera this way. Oh, so it's got the bed and it pulls out. And if you have a level ground, because it's got a tip there, then it'll hold it level. And I got to paint these chrome, and put a couple more stickers on them. And everything in the camera is black. I can't see what I'm showing you. And there's the little small one that goes beside the Teletran, and you turn it on, and you have nothing happen because a battery. Oh, because it's. In the thing, you can't see, but those lights do light up. Uh, I'm just exhausted at the end of the day. Been up since like 5. It's 5 o'clock now. I'm going to have my midday nap, so I can stay up till 2 in the morning. Here's your other ones. This one's got these gears i got to put on. I swore I, I glued the plate in the back of it to put those in there. But they're not. Here's the little, this is for the, oh, I got them out with one hand. And then the wings will fold out here for you to make your... And then he's got a couple little clips. There's one clip there. And then there's this extra clip. So it's like a double one for him. Because he's just got the single. So if you want to put it into a single place. Because it's all made out of the same sheet plastic. So it doesn't matter that everything, you know, I can clip this on here. Here's the master chair. It folds up. So your backrest can go at a different thing. And the arm things come in and out, right? Then they come around to go in there. So I didn't get inside. There's the... Oh, it fell down. The other two chairs in the command center. Uh, there's a couple things like this is just sitting here. These guns are just taped in. For now, i got to paint the backs of them black. But I just wanted to get the overview of this whole arc and how huge it is. I feel like, what that's all? It's like, wow, that's all these helicopters going around here. A big, huge dark green fucking big huge planes there's the back thrusters there's a plate here for it sorry i'm just so exhausted from so many jobs so look you can see how it doesn't turn on in the daytime you can sort of see a light going on and off when i do that uh so i have put screws into these because i don't trust this plastic gluing it with that hot glue gun melt that you put in those stick things i've got to melt mine with a torch because, as you can see, we have no power here to plug a glue gun in. So that's what makes all these stupid little hairs I hate. I just can't stand them. So I try not to use it. So, this plastic and this plastic will glue together. But once it's painted, you'll never glue it. So I have to use that hot glue gun melt. So I forgive for the little hairs. They just pick off. See, like here, doesn't it look gross? It's just, uh, oh. So you can actually pick that off. Any exposed stuff. It's stupid. I made these containers uh, so they'll open right up still for you. It's hard to do with one hand. And then you can put stuff inside it. They're those little candy tins. Put that on the Autobot and then I made it so that the whole door will open. And this door inside here is uh, the swivel door, right? You can, and there's the clip for this one plate. And one plate clips in there and put nice windows in there so you'll be able to see in there and see across and stuff. Wow, that looks good in there. So busy. Let's get some shot out of the way here. Let's turn this off for a sec. This is all be going in the back. So you have this plate and this plate. 
after this one slides in and then this lock here folds around from there to there so you don't have to worry about screws or none of that the, this whole thing is all together with no screws i got one screw way up in the front right there that's the only one that you have to worry about can you see that let me see i can see oh, it is dirtier dirtier than look at all the splatter all over the walls so the inside is the paint once i take it apart i can paint it there's a uh a plate i gotta make for here and some plates i gotta make for this side these these ones are just sitting here so all these pieces here will fall and so this is the proper way with this and the window there so the light comes through and stuff so these are all so like i said this is hooked up to a door so you can look inside the wing then you can open it up fully to look right inside there you can see that sliding door the nice back for the thing this all will turn for you and tilt right so that you can get your uh uh angle for when you put it on the landing legs or in the inside i forgot about those so i am really tired so i had noticed see here that's the proper one i put this one i gotta take this all apart because this goes here and that goes there. why isn't this lining up and that's what i'm gonna look for the tool and tools right in front of me on the bench i came in here can't find i'm gonna show you the landing legs for this for the other people I'll try to make this quick oh six minutes okay aren't that beautiful that nice and also what's going to happen with these is those they go into slot and they'll go like that just for a bit and they need it so that this will give it back and forth and side to side with these nice landing legs like everything inside the front one's really nice you can't see it in pictures but there's the front of it try to see what i can look in the camera and see what you guys are seeing so that's the back of it with some vents but i put like the shocks on the inside they sort of hide in there all those i actually could have just put straight barring but that holds this whole thing up. See, this is clips. The whole head is on a couple things. I'll separate. I'll show you the bottom. I'll show you how solid this thing is. Nice, eh? Solid. This doesn't have screws. There's one pin there, one pin there, one pin there. So this whole head will like the separation in the show. There's my pen. Or pen in each pocket. Don't matter. So you got to paint the bottom. The landing gear goes for that one. Oh, if I can line that up. There you go. See, so it goes right there. Oh, that looks nice. So when you see this way, you can see that there's lots of windows for them to see out. And then you, the other ways you can't see. So that, that's supposed to be a main window and that's a main window. But I just love it. And this gun on the back here comes up. If I can get this to go with one now, I'm going to have it pinned it down. Give me a sec. So it'll come up like that. It goes up and down. Nice and solid and turns around. Nice little rail gun, eh? Then it just goes back into the motif of the ship. I just had a win today. I've been just a... I'm trying to get these other projects for other people. I just, I know I'm not going to be able to show them there. I'm trying to get these things, they're ready in boxes to mail. I have to go over them to make sure everything's going to be nice for everybody. Megatron, he was going to go today. All of this, all on this top bench is all the barges. They're just stacked up. So these stacks of things are all barges, all done. All the panels on them are all done. They're all ready to go. I just have no room because... This thing takes up this whole thing. It starts raining. Oh, I'm, I'm in trouble if it starts raining. Sorry for the long video, but there's your arc. Uh, I guess I don't need those. And yeah, there's the detail of it and everything. So we're trying to go off of this arc right here, right? Here's the arc from Generation 2 Headmasters. And then with the Memphis hooks in here. Oh, I still got to build those ramps. Sorry about that. Okay, i got to build some ramps for here that connects. We are building the Memphis that goes with this next, and it's going to be the same size for Master. The other one I built was for just the smaller original generation ones. These are for, like, our big Masterpiece ones. Okay, see you later, everyone.